What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel, and currently as I'm recording this video, this is my 1000th and one video here on the channel, huge accomplishment for me. I do have my actual 1000th video recording coming out at a later date, but for now we're going to be talking about everything and all things Black Ops Cold War Beta and multiplayer, so let's go ahead and check it out. So starting off, I just want to mention everything that I'm going to be telling you guys is information that we know of as of August the 28th, just a couple days after the official Black Ops Cold War reveal inside of Warzone. But yesterday on the Modern Warfare in-game store on the Arabic version of the game, it says that users who pre-order Black Ops Cold War will also be getting early access to the open beta, which is going to be starting on October the 8th, first on the PlayStation 4. And all of this is coming from InfoCod, ESP, and CodTracker.com. A link to everything is going to be down below in the description. But now Activision and Treyarch have yet to confirm a beta date, which is kind of weird if you ask me. But actually, at the very bottom of the little promo image, it does say that the beta is subject to change. So it could possibly go live a little bit earlier but it could also go live a little bit later, maybe sometime in, mid in the middle of October instead of early October. It could even go live sometime in September. It really just kind of depends based on um, the events of what's going on inside of the news and the media as of recently. Depends on the game itself too. Just There's a whole lot of factors going on here, but we should get an official confirmation on that beta date sometime during the multiplayer reveal in September on the 9th to be exact. So. Um, yeah, the beta date is going to be subject to change, but what isn't going to change is the PlayStation 4 users getting access to the beta first. And also based off of the promo image, it does look like you have to pre-order a digital copy to get access to the beta early. Now if you pre-order from a retail store like your local GameStop, Walmart, Target, etc., then sadly you will not get early access. However, you will still be able to play the beta. Again, you just won't be able to play it at the same time if you were to have pre-ordered digitally. Now granted, the beta is going to be open, meaning everyone is going to get their chance to play at some point regardless of pre-orders, but you can actually have early access to a beta code by watching the CDL League Championship Sunday game. So for those of you guys who don't know what the Championship Sunday is for esports, it's pretty much like the NBA Finals or the Super Bowl, but for Call of Duty. So again, by watching the games on Sunday, you can have a chance to earn a free beta code. And there's going to be a total of 10,000 codes dropped to players watching the stream. So make sure you tune in on Sunday for the chance to win that beta code. It's worth noting to know that you either have to watch on the codleague.com website or on the COD companion app for your mobile device. I'm going to leave a link to a video I did talking about how to make sure you can earn those rewards along with some other really, really cool in-game items. So yeah, make sure you check that out if you're interested in winning a beta code for Black Ops Cold War. So guys, that was everything related to the multiplayer beta, but now in terms of the actual multiplayer content, if you're wondering, yes, I have seen that leaked footage of the Black Ops Cold War gameplay, and yes, I have studied and analyzed literally every single part of that HUD display and what was going on inside of the game. I'm not going to play it on screen because of obvious copyright reasons, but if you do look hard enough, you will eventually find what you're looking for. That's all I'm going to say on that subject, but I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did see in the gameplay. First thing I noticed is it does look like these score streaks are going to be returning just simply based off the layout of the streaks. It's kind of similar to the way Black Ops 2, 3, and 4 look looks but I couldn't make out what those streaks were because the footage was pretty blurry and pixelated. Um, the HUD display also shows the player's health and you can also see the teammates health and enemies health bar and that's a really nice addition in my opinion to Call of Duty games. 150 is going to be the universal health across all players um, but a lot of people are kind of upset about that. Personally I don't really notice it too too much. It really does not feel like the other players have more health at all. It just feels normal to me like I don't know I, I don't have a big issue with it but again some players may uh, feel differently about that um, but yeah I just really like that the health bars are visible I think that's always a great addition to any Call of Duty game so I'm glad that's going to be returning um, but all in all the HUD display just kind of looks like a mashup of Black Ops 4 and 3 and maybe just a little sprinkle of Modern Warfare. Treyarch has also stated that Black Ops Cold War is not fully using Modern Warfare's engine but instead they are going to be revamping the one they use from Call of Duty Black Ops 3 which is why the leaked gameplay footage does look very similar to Black Ops 3. And also the developers have rebuilt and rooted many of the engine's qualities to bring Black Ops Cold War to life. So for those of you who don't like the way Modern Warfare feels, 
Don't worry, it's not going to be too, too similar. I'm sure they're going to talk more about that and the other core technological features at the multiplayer reveal on the 9th of September. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy to hear that it's going to be using something similar to Black Ops 3. But now to kind of direct your attention back to some of the streaks in the trailer, we did see the traditional Black Ops 1 chopper gunner come back which absolutely gave me chills down my spine. I still get flashbacks from the spawn trapping days back in Black Ops 1 on Nuketown or Summit. Man, those were just super, super fun times. So I'm really glad the Chopper Gunner is going to be returning. Um, I couldn't make out any other streaks that were being used if there were any shown in the little teaser clips we did get a multiplayer. I'm sure we're going to be getting more information about some of the streaks we can use at the multiplayer reveal. Probably the full list of what's going to be inside of the beta as well. So September 9th is going to have a pleasant of information for us. Black Ops Cold War is also going to have its own season pass. There's going to be free multiplayer maps, weapon DLCs, game modes. Literally, they're using the same exact model that Infinity Ward has done this year with Modern Warfare, which is absolutely amazing. And to be honest, all of these updates, new weapons, maps, etc., they've done wonders for Modern Warfare. Like around this time last year during Black Ops 4, heck, maybe even months before that, everybody was getting tired of the game already. People were just counting down the days till Modern Warfare was coming out. People just wanted to play something new. And now with this model for Modern Warfare, it's so, so friendly for the players. It not only extends the longevity of the game, but also allows us to not really break our banks too much. And instead we can use the money to spend on pack bundles inside of the store if that fancies you or whatever you want. So yeah, Black Ops Cold War is gonna have the same exact model for post-launch content. Really glad to see that's gonna be returning. Now also guys, in terms of micro DLC items, um, we have this land to see an air pack. Um, all this is included in the ultimate edition of the game. So if you want to get that edition, you get every single thing here on, on screen right now. And you're going to notice that there's these different vehicle skins. The first one is like this little tank. The second one is this U-boat, water boat, not really all too sure what to call it. And the third one is a chopper of some sort. So these three vehicles or aircrafts, watercraft, whatever, they are probably going to make its way to Warzone at some point during Black Ops Cold War. Maybe when um, the new map does come out for Black Ops Cold War, maybe these are going to be some of the new vehicles we can use to traverse around the map a little bit easier. The tank, not really all too sure how that's going to play out because if we, if we can actually fire like rockets out of it or use like a gun of some sorts, then I see that being pretty dang solid to use inside of Warzone. The Leviathan ship, that makes you question, maybe we could actually be able to swim, kind of like in uh, Blackout Battle Royale, maybe they're gonna be using those same swimming mechanics and carry that over to Warzone. Um, and then the Chopper Gunner is kind of self, self standard, self explanatory right there. So um, yeah, these could be three new vehicles coming to Warzone, or they could also be added to some sort of a ground war mode. Maybe if Black Ops Cold War is gonna have its own take on that mode. We did see at the end of the reveal trailer that it appears to be some sort of a ground war mode, or maybe that was Warzone. I'm not really all too sure, but regardless, if that is ground war, I'm pretty sure that same location is gonna carry its way over onto Warzone eventually. And we can actually see these dune buggies. They look pretty dang quick and very annoying to try and kill somebody out of. So. That's going to be coming as another vehicle to Warzone possibly. And yeah, those are some different little DLC items you can use to customize your character in Black Ops Cold War. Operators are going to be returning as well, so a lot of people are happy that's going to be there instead of specialist characters. Because specialist characters were so, so good to use in Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3, but... Yeah, there's not going to be any abilities coming with those operators. They're all purely cosmetic and they don't have any stat changing or they don't make you any better at the game. So yeah, there may be field orders or field upgrades that are going to be coming um, very similar to Modern Warfare as well. I could definitely see that happening, but... In terms of specialist characters, no, that's not going to be coming in Black Ops Cold War. We also are going to be getting something I never thought I'd say, but we're getting cross-gen cross-play support, meaning if you want to play on your PC but then switch over onto your PS5, everything is going to be transferring over onto both systems. And also players on the next-gen consoles are going to be able to play with the previous-gen consoles and PC which still just shocks me to see to this very day inside of a Call of Duty game. So 
Treyarch is still supporting that slogan of keeping the community together instead of separating it, which is what Infinity Ward and Activision made a huge note of last year when Modern Warfare was being revealed. Activision has also confirmed that Black Ops Cold War and Warzone are going to be tightly integrated together, which means that all the weapons, blueprints, and operators you've earned through playing Modern Warfare and Warzone are going to be transferring over with you onto Warzone, even if you play Black Ops Cold War and load up Warzone through that game. So yeah incredibly huge guys now to be honest because of this i'm more intrigued to spend money on items inside of the store since everything is going to be transferring over like it's these little changes that seriously are painting call of duty in such in such a great great positive light so i truly cannot say thank you enough to activision for making this decision and it's the smart business move and at the end of the day i can guarantee you that more people are going to want to spend money on in-game store items if everything is just going to transfer over something so simple like that is going to make them millions of dollars more so yeah thank you activision for that that supports the players and it supports you guys so yeah thank you again <laughs> and now some other miscellaneous leaks about multiplayer it appears to be that the ekia is going to be back like black ops 4 so if you put like one bullet into an enemy player and then your teammate finishes them off then you get the uh, ekia for that um, there's boots on the ground too, of course. There is going to be sliding too, very similar to Black Ops 4. And there's also slide canceling. You saw that the health is at 150, but the time to kill apparently feels faster than Black Ops 4, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, there's also no stim to regenerate your health. The normal mini map is back again, so a lot of people are happy to hear that. Dead Silence is also a perk, so I know the competitive pro players are going to be very, very happy to hear that. Um, and also swimming mechanics are back, kind of like in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4. So I don't want to talk too much more into details because I don't want to spoil too much. But I do feel a lot of those things I listed are what's making fans feel kind of up in the air with this game. Because with Modern Warfare, they didn't want to revert the minimap back to the traditional Call of Duty style. Or with SBMM, they didn't want to tone it down at all. So I'm really glad that Treyarch is listening to that feedback from last year and adding some changes based off our input from Modern Warfare. So tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. I believe that is literally everything we know so far within Modern Warfare. Multi, I should say Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. And that's all that I can really share with you guys about the new incoming game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me in the channel for 1,000 videos strong. I love you guys with everything inside. And yeah, till next time, I'll see you all later.